Hi, it's Penny Black and Jill Foster here for your next PB&J card class. And today I'll be featuring our Creative Dye Autumn Jewels and combining it with some other products to create a tag. This cute little set of dyes is Tweet Things. I'm also using Life's Journals and the Sentiments from Foliage Fancy. And here's a look at this larger oversized tag that I'll be creating. And I really enjoyed using my Distress Paints to ink up my tag and also my die cuts and layer them onto this piece. So to begin, I'm working on an Ink Essentials craft tag, which is uh, six and a quarter by three and a quarter size. So it's pretty large, which is nice to be able to put lots of different dyes on it. And I'm using lots of distress paints on my craft sheet. So the first one I put down is Broken China, um, and I'm also using Mowed Lawn. And I'm gonna mix up those colors to just kind of see what I can get and have some variation. Um, it was a little bit more green that I wanted, so I'm going to add some other colors. So this one is Salty Ocean, and I'm also going to put some chipped sapphire down. So I'm just pressing these and mixing these together on my craft mat, and then I'll be pressing my tag into the color. And here's where I'm going to add that darker blue, the chipped sapphire color. And you'll see that mixing them together creates a color of its own, but I didn't completely mix them, so you'll see some variation here on the tag. So once I press my tag into the ink, I'm spritzing it with water. And because these are distressed, the water will uh, activate the ink and allow things to blend and move. And I went ahead and dried that. Then I decided I wanted more of this broken china color. So I'm just putting that on my craft mat. I just poured it on just to save time. I pressed one side of the tag into that paint and then spritzed it and allowed it to blend and then I dried it before going on to my next step. This is from the Penny Black Life's Messages set and it's this like vintage looking library card and I love this for backgrounds. So I've inked it with watering can Ranger Archival ink and I'm just randomly stamping it onto this background. And it adds a nice texture and subtle text and lines to the background. Next I will take Antique Linen Distress Paint and I'm just swiping some of this onto the side of the tag and then I'll blend it with my finger a little bit too. This gives even more color variation and areas of light to the background. Now these, all of these leaves are the Penny Black Creative Dye Autumn Jewels. They have a coordinating stamp set that goes with them, but today I'm just using them on their own. I'm putting some Distress Paint onto my craft mat. I've used Spice Marmalade, Fired Brick, that was the red color, and then I'm also going to do some pink because I figured, what the heck, let's have some pink leaves, and the pink color is Picked Raspberry. And I'm just pressing my leaves into that paint. And you can see I also added a little bit of water to the paint as well. So I did several leaves and I decided I wanted to darken up the red and the yellow. So I'm using archival ink with an ink blending tool and a foam pad to ink up those leaves. And this is the color of red geranium. And then on the yellow I will be adding the orange blossom. And what I love about this is it still has the really pretty textures of having placed the leaves into the paint, but I can adjust the colors here by adding ink on top. And then once I've inked all of those leaves that I'm planning to use, then I'm going to take a darker color, potting soil, and I'm going to add this around the edge of all the leaves and I also added it a real light layer around the edge of the tag. Now I wanted to tie in the color of those leaves onto the background, so this is just that picked raspberry distress paint and also the spice marmalade. I added some water with a brush and then flicked it onto the background. 
I dried that and now I'm ready to adhere the leaves. I put foam squares on the top portion of the leaves and glossy accents at the bottom. So glossy accents can be used to add a glossy finish on top of your embellishments and different pieces, but it also makes a great strong adhesive. So I'm adhering those down and because I just have the glue at the bottom and the foam squares at the top, it gives these leaves some really great dimension. Now these are my sentiments. These are from the Foliage Fancy set and I stamp them using VersaFine Onyx Black ink. That's my favorite ink for stamping sentiments. And then I'm adding just a little bit of ink to the outer edge of those. I'll use Tree Branch Archival ink and then a small touch of the potting soil, the darker color ink. So that I'm just barely touching the edge, but it will show once it's layered onto the tag. I'll add these onto the tag using foam squares. And whatever extends beyond the edge of the tag, I will turn over to the back and trim that portion of the sentiment off. Now you can see I've added some pearls, and this is the cutest little die. This is from the die set called Tweet Things, and I just cut it from white paper. I dipped the end of it into glossy accents on my scratch paper, and then I can adhere it, tucking it behind those leaves. I simply added some ribbon and some twine to the top, and the tag is finished. Thank you so much for watching. For details and more information, visit the Penny Black website, www.pennyblackink.com, and there's a complete list of supplies at the end of the video.